Ah, Rings of Saturn, everyone's favorite. Band. <laughs> oh, sorry, I gotta break character. <laughs> I received a comment a while back under a sort of expose video I made about a giant con man in the guitar industry calling me a negative Nancy for not saying really anything positive in my sort of more journalistic content. So you know what, that's now the unofficial name for this series. Welcome back to the f***ing Negative Nancy show. Today we're talking about Lucas Mann. Yes, I did say Rings of Saturn in the beginning, but this video really isn't about the entire band, it's about Lucas. Although the way Rings of Saturn's social media is run might make you forget that it's not just the Lucas Mann show. And the fact that a lot of the time Lucas seems to forget about this himself is part of the reason I'm making this video. So I won't waste too much of your time, let's get to it. Giving other musicians credit isn't really Lucas Mann's strong suit, if you will. I like to refer to him as the Ingvar Malmsteen of death metal because, quite frankly, I think those two would get along just beautifully. But why do I say that? Miles Dimitri Baker, a guitarist you might have heard of before, was a member of Rings of Saturn from 2014 to 18 and was a part of one of their albums, Ultu Ulla. However, Lucas doesn't seem to want people to think that Miles was as big of a part of the songwriting process for that album as he was. These disagreements over credit for the songwriting on Ultu Ulla, which Miles did most of without ever being verbally or financially credited, are what led to Miles' departure in 2018. Also, to just briefly come back to that social media comment I made a second ago, this is the official Rings of Saturn Instagram page run by Lucas Mann. <laughs> There are about three posts on here in total containing anybody from the band who isn't Lucas, and the rest is either merch promo or getting married to my wife, visiting my wife, hashtag Lucas man new car. <laughs> It's just a picture of his new Ford Mustang with hashtag LucasMan attached to it. For comparison, let's take a look at the Instagram account of another sort of technical metal band, Monuments. Oh, there's the bass player. Oh, there's the guitarist. Ooh, I found the singer. Oh, the oh look, there's some drum content. Oh, here's all of them together. And here's some tour photos. This is the way a band's social media should be run, not in a way that makes it seem like it's the Lucas Mann project featuring a bunch of session musicians in the background. This behavior just reminds me of Ingbe, a man who also made a career out of playing the same f***ing thing in the same f***ing key in every song for decades and did not waste a single piece of energy even thinking about properly crediting the musicians who made his music amazing. Shortly before the release of Ultu Ulla, Rings of Saturn was signed to Nuclear Blast Records, one of the biggest record labels in the metal scene. Fast forward a few years to 2020, and Lucas Mann threatened the record label, <laughs> telling them he would issue statements condemning Nuclear Blast in the strongest terms possible if they refused to give in to his demands, demands which haven't been made public by Nuclear Blast nor by the band. Now that last part actually quite bums me out, because I would love to know what the f he was asking for that he felt the need to blackmail the record label to get it. <laughs> Needless to say though, Rings of Saturn is now independent, because Lucas chose to blackmail their record label. Just think about that for a second, just let that really sink into your head and think about what he did. <laughs> A few weeks after Nuclear Blast kicked their asses to the curb, Rings of Saturn's vocalist at the time, Ian Barra, the man who made their music bearable, left the band. At which point Lucas announced Rings of Saturn would now be going forward as a strictly instrumental project. Because historically, instrumental death metal bands have always been known to be incredibly popular and successful. N no wait, the other way around. So as of right now, Rings of Saturn is an indie band consisting of Lucas Mann on guitar, Joel Omens on guitar. By the way, years and years ago, Joel had been in Rings of Saturn before, but left in 2014, issuing a lengthy Facebook statement about what a lousy self-centered musician and bandmate Lucas Mann is, and that he would never be working with him again. A post which has since been deleted. <laughs> and a session drummer. I'm not kidding. Genuinely a session drummer. It's this guy. You thought Ingvar Malmsteen of death metal was exaggerated, but that's exactly what he's doing too. <laughs> We have now arrived at the part which, ironically, even though I'm six-string TV and not YouTube drama TV, I care the least about. The allegations against Lucas Mann saying he fakes his guitar parts both live and on record. Before I get into this, I have to say that on a musical level, and really only on a musical level, I respect Lucas and his ability. Even if not all of what you see in here is 100% real, which it definitely most certainly isn't, there's always some sort of trickery involved with like this, and Lucas even admitted to it to some extent. Lucas is still a much more technically proficient guitar player than I am, and I will never deny that. However, the more studio magic you use to make your music sound better, or just more like 8-bit video game music, the less pride you're really able to take in it. 
All that being said, the musical ability of Rings of Saturn's members is already constantly in question due to allegations like them playing their guitar parts at half speed in the studio and then speeding them up in post. Now, whether any of this is true or not, I have no idea. Nobody but the people involved in Rings of Saturn do. But in light of these accusations, a guitar playthrough demo video of a solo song by Lucas recorded in 2013 featuring audio from the realistic sound engine of the Guitar Tab software Guitar Pro instead of actual guitar audio it just kind of discredits you a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> now this isn't a criminal offense or anything, it's just also not the smartest idea in the world. Like if I know that people are constantly questioning my musical ability and have been accusing me of faking my guitar tracks, and my response to that is to upload a guitar playthrough video with fake guitar tracks, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? <laughs> then a few years after that, there was the whole drama situation between Jared Dines and Lucas Mann, in which Jared essentially accused Rings of Saturn of miming their guitar parts on stage. Now, following this, Lucas Mann made a 40 minute long response video <laughs> to Jared Dines, essentially debunking these claims, but did admit to running a few DI tracks through his amps into the PA system when he's on stage or something. I'm not quite sure what it's rationale was for that one because I only managed to choke down about 20 minutes of that video before turning it off. So there isn't really a solid conclusion or moral to this video, nothing to really tie it all together at the end besides the fact that yeah Lucas Mann single-handedly ran a what used to be a decent tech death band into the ground because he seemed to take a bit too much inspiration from the way Ingvar Malmsteen does business with other musicians. <laughs> but this is just a topic that even fans of Rings of Saturn seem to be largely unaware of, or at least of the full scope of it. You know, everyone saw the Jared Dines drama and everything, that blew up, but no one saw everything, I feel like. So I just thought putting it all under one roof in this video would make an interesting video, and I think I was right. So if you enjoyed it, that's very nice. If you're like 14 and you love Rings of Saturn and you didn't, uh, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments. Big thanks to all of my loyal Patreon members. I'll put all of their wonderful names uh, right here. You can become a patron yourself for the low, low price of $1.90 a month for all of these wonderful, beautiful, delicious benefits. Uh, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do that somewhere down here. You can watch my most recent video somewhere up there if you feel like it. I usually do those the other way around. All my social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook is linked in the description. Uh, merch, links, whatever, everything's in the description. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell. I'll see you around.